Hey YouTube, so here we go again with another Verizon Note 3 tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to back up and restore your phone using SafeStrap Recovery for whenever you need to back up your stock firmware or whatever firmware you might have. In my case, I'm going to be doing a stock firmware backup just in case I need it in the future and then I'm going to show you how you could possibly restore. I'm not actually going to go through the whole process because that would completely wipe and it would take a long time. I'm not going to go through the whole process uh, but it's it's pretty much automatic after I leave you off here so just follow along here and you'll be good to go. Now to do this I'm going to assume that you have followed previous videos and you have rooted your phone and you have installed some kind of recovery I'm going to be showing you how to do it with SafeStrap recovery but it is similar with other custom recoveries right now I'm just on my my phone's just right normally turned on I'm gonna go ahead and power it off completely and on the shutdown I select OK okay once your phone is completely turned off go ahead and power it back on okay so here we go and then be sure to catch it on the safe strap menu. It'll pop up here in a second. There we go. Just hit recovery. And then give it a second for it to boot into recovery. Now when you're booting into recovery, yours is probably going to look different than mine. Don't worry. It is similar. So if you follow previous tutorials, I'm going to go to boot options. You should have a ROM slot 1 and some kind of ROM installed into it and you should have a stock ROM. The stock ROM should be your stock firmware. In my case, it's MJE, Verizon Stock MJE Firmware. Now this one is a, a little bit different because it is rooted and it is a little bit customized, but nevertheless, you wanna make sure you have some kind of backup of your stock firmware just in case anything happens. So if you're on ROM slot one, let's go ahead and go to stock ROM and activate it if it's not activated. And then the top right here, on the top right here, you should see that it changes to some red, red lettering, and it says ROM slot is stock. So let's go ahead and go back home. Okay. So now what you want to do is hit this big backup button right here. Go ahead and hit that, and you have the uh, the options to select partitions to back up. You have your data, your cache, and your system. So you don't necessarily have to back up your cache, um, but definitely back up your data and your system. Uh, I'm going to do the cache just just for the hell of it. Uh, and this is going to all be backed up to your micro SD card. If for whatever reason you want to do it to your internal storage, go ahead and hit where it says micro SD card and you have the ability to hit internal storage. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to leave mine as micro SD card. Okay. And then once you have everything selected, you also do have these two options down at the bottom. You have the options to enable compression and to skip MD5 generation during backup. So enabling compression does take a little bit longer. However, it will make a smaller size. So if you don't have that much storage in any of your storage places, go ahead and select enable compression. But I'm just going to leave it as is and swipe to backup. And you'll notice it's going to back up to the location and a folder called TWRP backups and then in my case it's going to be 40F so right here where it says backup started backup folder that's where you will find your backup so this takes quite a bit of time to finish as you see here there's going to be the three partitions that we chose to back up the total size of the of the data is uh, a little over three gigabytes and available space is eight gigabytes on my external SD card with it taking with it having to back up three gigs it will take quite a while so you'll have the little status bar here at the bottom just give it a while and uh, it will finish up on its own so I'll be back whenever it's finished and just as a heads up as you notice the screen does go black do not worry that's just a power saving option you can configure it in the safe strap options uh, but it's really not a hassle if you if you want to check up on it all you have to do is touch the screen this will come up just slide to unlock alright so it it's already completed and I'm gonna go ahead and swipe to unlock alright so here are the results the average backup rate was four megabytes per second 
and the whole three about three gigs were backed up and it was done in 851 seconds so you can give yourself an idea how long it's gonna take you now I'm going to you can go ahead and reboot your system if you want and then go into that file location that it said it was gonna be at that should show up here at the top and go ahead and take that back up and place it in as many places as you can um, your Dropbox your external hard drive anywhere you could keep safe just in case if anything happens to your phone software you can go ahead and restore to that so I'm actually just gonna go back and go ahead and show you go home right there and show you the actual restore process so I'm gonna go ahead and go to restore and as you can see right here as you can see right here it's already showing up but if it's not showing up there make sure you have the correct storage location selected so if you have it in your internal I'm gonna go ahead and choose that you'll see nothing shows up for me since I'm on internal but if I switch it over to my micro SD card it automatically shows up right here so if I was to click on that it notices that the, there's data cache and system located in that and then you can also enable MD5 verification verification of your backup files whenever your backup was being created there was MD5 checksums being created with it so just to make sure that your backup is completely legitimate and backed up properly you want to make sure that that MD5 is correct so you could go ahead and select enable MD5 verification well before or while it's restoring it will go ahead and check that checksum and make sure that it is legitimate and that you're restoring what you want to restore and there will be no corruption so I can't stress it enough make sure that that's good and then all you have to do is simply swipe to restore and it will go ahead and complete the whole restoration process and that's it and here we are back at home once you've already backed up your stock ROM then you can go ahead and just go back I'm gonna go to boot options ROM slot 1 activate and there we go so my ROM is back if for whatever reason you want to do the same thing for all of these if you have something that you like on each one of these you could also do the same thing just go to backup select what you want to back up all the options are the same and you could do that with every one of these ROM slots so I really like safe strap because uh, one it's the whole thing is touch so it's a 100% um, touch recovery really easy to navigate all the options are there it's simple and straightforward there are other methods of you backing everything else up uh, I will show you in future videos uh, but for now um, I'm showing you with safe strap because that is what I'm hundred percent familiar with and what I'm using and what everyone really should be using if you can use safe strap I hope this helped you guys out if you have any questions feel free to leave a comment down below I'm really good at getting at those and helping you with any other questions that you might have if you found this video informative, go ahead and give me a like so other people can find this video and be helped out by it as well. Be sure to check out my channel. I have a whole bunch of other tech videos you might ha find helpful. I have a Verizon Note 3 series if you have that Verizon Note 3 phone. And I also have a couple of other tech videos for your computer. So go ahead and go to my channel and check those out. Be sure to subscribe as well if you like this video and I'll be having more videos like these coming out soon. So make sure you're subscribed so you'll get those on your timeline as soon as they come out. Alright guys, so that's it for now. Y'all have a good one.